Okay, we're going to break down a subnet mask, class C, to make it very simple. Basically what I did is I set up eight dots to represent the eight bits, eight bits in this last number. Each one of these numbers has eight bits. To get 255, we have eight ones. If each one of these are ones, if you add these numbers up, you'll see they equal 255. That means each one of these bits have a one. If each bit had a zero, then the total would be zero, like this one has. All these are zeros right now. <clears throat> we may need to change that. In fact, we will right now. We're going to need to do that. The professor asked us to make two subnets. So, in order to make two subnets, we're going to have to break it down. So, I made these eight dots, and above them, I gave them values starting with one on the far right, two, four. They doubled each time until you get to the end at 128. That's the bit value. I put that there to make it easy to see. You don't have to put that there if you don't want. Over here, we put it in. This is our networks. And we're going to start here counting under the dots. We're going to put these numbers and letter numbers as we go. This is your basic form, how you want to see it when you're sitting at the, <clears throat> at the desk ready to do your test. You want to write this on the piece of paper, it makes it a lot easier. It's pretty simple, you're just going to put the dots up here. Once you've laid out the dots, you know you need to start over here with dot on the right, number 1, and double them all the way down to 128. Once you've done that, you put your N over here and count to the right doubling each one and then the H is for hosts and you're going to do the same down here and you can see that they're just the opposite once you've done that you've set up your situation and you can make your decisions the professor in the earlier example <coughs> asks for two networks okay he wants to know what the 
subnet mask is going to be, he also wants to know how many of these bits we're going to have to borrow, and he's going to he wants to know how many are left. Well, if you borrow two, then of course there's going to be six left. If you borrow three, there's going to be five left. There's eight. So whatever you borrow, if you borrow five, there's going to be three left. That's just the way it is, and that way you'll know whatever you borrow, you just the rest add it up to eight. Okay, the next thing you want to do, he tells you you want two networks. The next thing you want to do is go over here to the N and say, I need two networks. The N's going to say, okay, go to the right and find two networks. And you go to the right and you find two networks. Wait a minute, the N says, wait a minute, don't forget, take away two. N says, take away two? What's that? Yep. Yeah. Take away two. Always remember that, huh? And take away two for the H2. We'll have to remember that. So if we have N take away two and we want to get two networks, that won't do. Four will. Because four take away two is going to equal two. And he wants two networks. So N says take away two and then you'll get how many networks you want. So the professor tells us, let me slide this up a little bit and get it in line. All right, so the professor says, give me two networks. I go, can't go here, can't use this line. No, nope. I gotta use this line. So I have to borrow these two. So I draw the line down the middle. And that tells me a lot. This is the answer right here. There's your whole answer. It's telling me how many networks I can have. And it's telling me how many hosts I'm going to get. Okay. This is the most important part too. It's also telling me what my magic number is. Magic number is 64. In this situation, he's asking for two networks. These are the things I need to know. These are the only things I need to know. Okay. Also, one more thing I'll need to know is what the subnet mask is going to be. And we get that by adding up the bit value. If we borrow two bits, the bit value is going to be 128 plus 64. That's going to make our subnet mask 192. These numbers all stay the same. Okay, so now we're going to we're going to back up. We're going to give you another example. teacher asks for six networks. We look at our little thing we've drawn out and we say I need six networks. The end says no problem just remember to take away two. So I slide down here no, no, eight, eight take away two that'll work. I'm gonna have to draw a line. I'm gonna have to borrow three to get to the eight. So I draw my line. Okay, and it tells me all my information. It tells me I'm going to get six networks, and I'm going to get out of each network, I'm going to get 32 minus 2, or 30 hosts. That's the information I need to know. It's also going to tell me what my subnet mask is. Remember, I'm going to add. 192, 64, and this time I have to add 32, which will make this 224 in this case. If he asks for six networks, or let's say he asks for 30 hosts in each network, we can do it in this example just by drawing that line. That's our answer right there, drawing that line. 
it's also going to tell us our magic number right beside here. So if he's asking for six networks, we've got it here. We've got our magic number. We've got our number of hosts. What's the magic number for? The magic number tells us what our networks are going to be. Let's say our network is going to be 192.168.1.0. And he's telling us to make six networks. No problem. Our magic number is going to be 32. So the first network is going to be 192.168.1.32. Remember that. It's very important. And the subnet mask is going to be 224 because we added up these three numbers up here. Okay. Now let's let's think maybe he might ask for 12 networks. Well, if we put the line here, that won't work because 6 is not enough. He wants 12. If we put the line here, we'll get 16 minus 2. We'll get 14 networks. That's great. That'll work. Anything under 14 will work here. Above 6, under 14. We'll draw our line here. Once we've drawn our line, we get our magic number. We get our number of networks. And we get our number of hosts. Remember, these are takeaway two. So if he tells me he wants 14 networks, no problem. Here's my example for 14 networks. He says I want 14 hosts, no problem. Here's my example for 14 hosts. My magic number 16. That means 192.168.1.16 would be my first network. The second one would be 32. You're just adding the magic number over and over again. That tells you your network. If this example, in this example, we're going to go ahead and show let's say he he wanted <clears throat> 14 networks so we we are going to go ahead and use this network we're going to go ahead and use this and we're saying our magic number 16 that's our first network going to write up here net over here we're going to write range and over here we're going to write broadcast in the ring in the the next network is going to be 192.168.1 we never these numbers never change because the 255.255.255 tell us that those numbers never change they stay the same the only thing we're dealing with is the last number. Okay, in this case though, we're making our second network. The first one was 16, the next one's going to be 32. Let me move the subnet mask over here. And we're doing this example. And of course the next number, you just keep adding 16 as you go down the line. And he wanted 14 networks, so you would do it 14 times all the way down until you get to 14 networks. The example would be, you got 16, of course 192.168.1.17 would be the next available. And it would go through. Well, we know our broadcast is going to be one less than this one. So this is 32, so our broadcast is going to be 31. So 
so our range is going to be 17 through 30. And of course that example continues. This would be basically how you do it. You want to make sure that you draw your line. It's Just think of that line as a slider. The line can slide left or right to borrow your bits. If he tells you he wants six or less, then you're going to want to be in this range as networks. If he says I want uh, 15 hosts Per network. Well, you're going to come down here and you're going to slide over here and look and you're going to say, well, 16, that would do. No, 16 won't do. Because you got to take away 2. So 32 would be it. You'd have to make the line over here. So no matter what he says, whether it's a network or a host, doesn't make a bit of difference. You just want to slide it to where it, where it fits. Remember the line, it goes this way, as the line comes down, the network to the left, the host to the right. And that's basically how you do it. If you have any more questions, don't hesitate to ask.